The models used in these lessons are in your Infinite Skills folder for Chapter 5. This one is called Face Fillet 1. Notice that the corner on this part has some extra junk in it. And the junk doesn't have to be so nice, it could be even messier than this. You know what I mean. You've seen models with messes in them before. You've probably made a couple. I know I have. In any case, sometimes you can use a fillet to just smooth right over it. It's like you put a bunch of Bondo on your thumb and just wipe it right over there, and it fills it in like nobody ever knew it was there at all. So, let's see how to do that. We just use the regular fillet feature, and we select the face fillet option. One thing you should know about these four options is that they're there when you create the feature, but after you create the feature, they just go away. So you'll only be left with whatever option you selected. You can't change the fillet type after the fillet's created. In any case, let's create this face fillet over the corner with junk in it. So again, we'll just select one face, hit the right mouse button, and select the other face. Now notice that the feature is not previewing. The face fillet, unlike regular constant radius fillets, usually fails because the radius value is too small. So in this case, if we jack up the radius value a little bit, eventually we'll come to a point where the fillet starts previewing. And it's going to fill in right over the top of that junk in the corner. That's one of the really nice things about the face fillet. So remember, next time you're trying to create a fillet and it just fails, read the dialog box that SolidWorks offers you because it might recommend that you use a face fillet. Rather than just ignoring it, you should give it a try because sometimes it really does work. Okay, let's move on to the next fillet type. We're going to look at hold lines again, and this time in a little bit of different light. And then this model has a split line that's on the post and another one that's on the base. Now let's go ahead and create a new fillet on here just to show how it works. All right. And this fillet can get as large as you like. And let's select the hold line. In this case, we'll take the top and select the bottom. Now remember that you have to have the Curvature Continuous option turned on when you have two hold lines selected. So this is an additional type of hold line that you can create that makes a closed loop all the way around something. Let's take a look at a third type of fillet. This is what we call the Constant Width Fillet, and it's another face fillet type. Notice that we have geometry here that changes. It's a lofted shape, and on one end, it gets really narrow and pointy. When you put fillets on things that are narrow and pointy, it tends to erode the edge away quite a bit. So you put a fillet on, it might bring the top of this feature down this low. So, Let's take a look at how you can control that to some extent. Let's put a fillet on, just a regular old constant radius fillet on this edge, and by the time the fillet gets any size back here, it's already eroding the point off up here. So that's a constant radius fillet. Notice also that back here the fillet is not very wide, and up here it's much wider. Let's take a look at another type of fillet, the face fillet. Select this face, right click, select the other face. We're still getting the same preview, but let's change this now to a constant width. Now notice how it's the same width all the way. The radius value is no longer really a radius value because this has become a variable radius fillet where the radius is tighter 
on this end and larger on this end. You can understand how a constant width fillet could be valuable and improve the look of your model.